All right. So here it is. I um I discovered Mike's trommel on YouTube and um thought it was pretty interesting. So I thought I might have a go at trying to build one. He reckons you can build it for under fifty dollars or just on fifty dollars and brew the beat. Oh, a little bit more, but not much. Um, some of the problems I had though is in in Australia. He said to put a, a cross piece here where the axle runs through. And, um, well, the problem is everywhere I looked, I couldn't find a cross piece. Um, besides that, everything else is pretty straightforward. His directions were a little bit uh, difficult to um, understand, uh, but uh, what I ended up doing was on the inside, I brought some 3 mil by 20 mil aluminium straight thing, and I, um, I bent them up. So, yeah, I, I think it might have a little bit more strength than what the pipe strapping you used has. Well, we'll see. I don't know yet. It's brand new, hasn't been tested. So, also, another big issue, well, not a big issue, but another thing I believe that if you do decide to build one of Mike's trommels, uh, what you might want to do is do the uh, what he calls the upgrade and bring the legs out in a 45, uh, 45 degree angle, the front legs. He reckons it gives a bit more stability. Um, problem being is because it is so light, it is really, really wonky. Um, so I don't know. Might be better once it's got some weight going through it, or we'll have to see what happens. Another thing I've been thinking about doing is maybe put some 90 degree elbows on the bottom of the feet, and run the feet out sideways. That way you can put a bit of gravel on top of it and maybe try and hold it down while you, while you turn it. Um, this this one turns quite nicely. Uh, it would have taken me nearly a good hour to try and um, cut out the arse end of the T-piece so I could try and fit it in. I've still got to put some protectors um, where the axle runs through so try and eliminate all the dust and dirt getting in there and wearing it out because I don't really feel like building another one or making another one you know, in the near future as it wasn't extremely fun. Um, another thing I, I decided to do is I sent it back the um, the axle pipe a little bit and um, I didn't want to send it back too much but the issue was I was pushing too far down into the T-piece and um, it was jamming up on me so I put a couple of screws in there and it actually stops it sliding too far forward and jamming up so a bit of grease also made a big difference in how easy it is to spin um, same thing is I'm going to have to put a little bit of a rubber boot over the top of that, gives that a bit of protection. Um, I haven't glued it together yet, I've put some screws in on the joints just to hold it up so I can make sure that everything's just right because it's a pain in the ass trying to separate all your glue. Um, also, what confuses you a little bit when you do follow these plans is he says to put a coupling in here or in other words a, a joiner. Um, and I only just actually understood why, but that's in case see the, the bar between the handle and the joiner. In case that wears out before your TP does, that way you'll be able to replace either section. Recommend not not um, gluing either end of where the axle runs into at any stage, um, just in case it does wear out. The sheet of wire, which I was pretty lucky at Bunnings that I purchased that. Uh, the buckets were $4.50 at Bunnings, but these are the old ones I brought maybe 12 months ago. Uh, the sheets of wire that you can get at Bunnings, 12.6mm. I think the square is um, the full sheet just wraps around and you get an overlap of two squares so it's really tight there um, I've bent it all around there hammered it all in and I've done some wire ties all the way through which hopefully a bit more st hopefully is stable enough um, in the future one day I might have to replace this bucket it's already broken but um, oh, the, the wire was so hard to bend around I honestly I believe all the strength comes from the wire and not the buckets anyway. The buckets are just something that helps set it in. Um, with the, the plastic feed or the plastic hopper or whatever you want to call it, had to cut that into kind of a T-piece to try and make runs of the bucket. I'm not sure. He's got images on how to do it, but couldn't quite understand, so I designed it. My own little method. Um, the only thing left to do now is maybe is I've got to run the catchment underneath it so I can direct all my... Um, classified material into a bucket and then we're ready to go.
Uh, not going to get back down to our goal prospecting area for another two weeks. Well, it's a long wait, but I may get to be there. Actually, one week, two days before we can go away again, so it hurts, but unfortunately we have to work to pay for our desires and our needs. So there it is. Quick overview. Uh, Mike's Trommel. There we go. Beautiful. Brand spanking new. Uh, oh, another thing is I thought maybe you need more than four screws throughout the, the wire to hold onto the buckets. Uh, as I said, the, the wire's that hard that four is absolutely plenty. And plus, you also get to run another... You're not running eight through the wire anyway when you put in your aluminium uh, brackets onto your axle. So, anyway, there we go. Before I ramble on too much, that's a five minute video on a little project I made. That's long enough. Have a good day. See you later.